Hey, this is a quick uh, video for Derek. Uh, I just wanted to say, hey, thanks for uh, sharing your uh, Vangelis with me. Um, I was looking forward to see uh, what you might have, uh, might have had, um, and you definitely have some good ones. You got some I don't have as well. Um, but I just wanted to say, hey, hey thanks for uh, uh, responding. Uh, that was really, really cool. So I thought, in all fairness, um, I would uh, reply with. Uh, uh, my Vangelis collection, and uh, as well as uh, three albums I want to turn you on to, uh, unless of course you already know them, uh, which is very possible. But anyway, uh, here we go. Uh, the first one, we'll get this out of the way. Yeah, this this has to be the first one to go. So, um, <laughs> probably his best-selling album, uh, but honestly, in my opinion, uh, it's actually one of the weakest. Um, but yeah. So that's that. Uh, next, I have uh, the best of Vangelis and the uh, track selections on here. I would agree with probably half of them, and then I'd probably erase the other half of the album and exchange them with my own choices. But uh, that's uh, that's the best of. Okay, next I have. Uh, Opera Sauvage as well. Nice gatefold. Great album. Albedo 0.39, one of my favorites. Well, this is tough because then again, yes, Heaven and Hell. Also, one of my favorites. This one is, is really interesting. Um, not a bad album, a little different, but uh, Vangelis to the Unknown Man. Oh, another one of my favorites. China. Ooh, probably my favorite. Well, there's two that I can't decide which is my favorite, but this one is an absolute must. Um, I noticed you didn't have this one, so I highly recommend you find, you find, you gotta find Spiral. Excellent. And then. I can never pronounce, uh, pronounce this correct, but this would be the tie for the other favorite, and it's Vangelis Bauborg. It's B E A U B O U R G, Bauborg. And this is really, really a deep album. mean deep there's a man he comes up with some serious patches in in that album that just really your imagination just goes and soars so anyway those are my uh, uh, Vangelis LPs uh, now I picked out uh, three other albums here that I just thought I might turn you on to if you haven't checked them out or you may already own them I have no idea uh, but this one I discovered as an experiment and uh, I was very happy with what I found. I had never heard these guys before. And it's uh, a German uh, electronica prog, I guess. I'm not sure how I would explain this, uh, but really, really good stuff. And it's a uh, blue chip orchestra. And it's on the Erdenklang label from Germany. And I know you're a big label guy, uh, so I thought I'd show you the labels really attractive label. It's Erdenklang. Just a really pretty label. Let's 
So you might want to give these guys a try. Uh, like I said, unless of course you already know about them or already have them. And then next up, uh, Patrick O'Hearn. And this is Ancient Dreams. And that's what I'm listening to now. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. But Patrick O'Hearn, Ancient Dreams. Nice new age synth. And next I have, <clears throat> this is a, a really slow, almost meditational uh, type of keyboard synth. Uh, it almost has a xylophone sound to it. Um, don't know if you know it or not. Uh, this is older, but it's uh, Stephen Halpern, Spectrum Suite. And it's interesting, it kind of tells you on the back of the LP here how to uh, listen to the Spectrum Suite and channel it, channel the notes to different parts of your body. Really interesting, but I know you like a lot of uh, that kind of, um, maybe not as deep as deep listening, but uh, just kind of more interesting type stuff like this. So I thought I'd share that with you. Oh, and this really isn't a recommendation because I'm sure you know this. I just happened to pick this up today um, for uh, 80 cents at one of the thrift stores. And I thought I had everything by this artist, uh, but apparently I did not because I've never seen this before. And it's uh, Kitaro Tenkai. T-E-N-K-A-I. Uh, and I actually haven't listened to this yet. Uh, like I said, I, I, I have so much Kitaro that I'm... I know what to expect, but uh, who I do really like. Um, anyway, just wanted to put that out to you and just say, hey, thanks, and thought I'd share back. So um, appreciate the words of wisdom you always give in your videos, man. Keep it up, and uh, I'll keep watching. So cheers. Take care.